Hi and welcome to Design by Teachers. My name's Jess and I get the privilege today to go through this tutorial workshop. Uh, we're going to be looking at how to make um, some observations, work samples and some learning stories using PowerPoint and some clip art from our website. So what we're going to do is once you've gone to the website, um, you can purchase some clip art. Um, if you go up into our resource types, you'll see that it has a certain clip art selection there and we'll have some examples that will pop up here in a minute. But using PowerPoint is a really great and easy way way um, to create some resources. You can then also modify them and save them as a PDF whenever you need to then be able to use inside your classroom or in your learning centre. So let's go ahead. Um, this is just a little sample that's on the website um, with all the different clip art. So today we're going to be using some text box frames. Um, you can also use different backgrounds if you want and we will be looking at those. We'll be looking at some labels and we'll also be looking at some borders and also some uh, font. Um, we'll also be using some of the functions inside PowerPoint which you'll be able to get uh, which comes with uh, the actual website uh, program. So let's go ahead and have a little look in there. One thing I do wanted to remind you that when you do use any clip art, um, if you decide for any reason to actually put these resources on Designed by Teachers um, and share them with other teachers, you actually do need to credit any of the clip artists that you've used. So once you do purchase, even if they're free items, you need to just make sure that you read their, their instructions that they leave inside the document. So let's go ahead and have a little look here. So I've gone ahead and opened up PowerPoint. Um, in the PowerPoint program you will need to immediately modify the actual screen size and you can do that by going up to the top here once you're inside PowerPoint and if you go to file once you click on file you will see the option for page setup so in the page setup this is where you'll be able to see that I've already set it to A4 but you actually can set it to whichever size that you like and you can set it to portrait or landscape so I've actually got two going at the moment. So I've got this one set as portrait and I've actually got another one here for landscape just to show you two different ways that we can set these up. So at the moment, let's go ahead and start with this one. So I've already had like a little bit of a play um, and I've got my different clip art folders sitting down here ready to go. I've also got an image here that I'm going to show you how, to, how easy it is to drag and drop it over. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, at any point, just a quick little tip here. If you really like the layout that you've sort of set up here and if you don't want your image, I'm just going to remove the image. So I'm just going to press delete and that will go. If you actually like the different template that you create here, all you need to do uh, once you've done that, oops, I've accidentally moved that over. <laughs> Let me just go up here and click undo. No, it's going to go back over. My computer's playing up on me today. Here it is. Let's put it back over in place. So once you've actually created a layout that you like, you can go ahead and duplicate the slide. And once you duplicate the slide, that will enable you to then edit the document that you want. So when we right click here, you'll see the option here to duplicate the slide. So you can actually do that and it will recreate the whole slide that you've done for you. So if you wanted to do a simple thing uh, and just change the heading or if you wanted to change the colour here. So these little labels here are from Rebecca B Design. So if I click open my art and I'm going to select... Where is it? The chalkboard glitter label. So you'll be able to see all the different types that she has available here. So if I wanted to go ahead and on my board here, I wasn't happy with the yellow one. If I wanted to go ahead and alternate it with a different color. So just to remove that, I've clicked on that and pressed delete. And you can see all the different options here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the one that I want. I'm going to hold my mouse down and I'm going to drag and drop it over onto the screen. Now Rebecca has probably set this up to be a certain size inside the actual document and you'll see how big it is when it pops up but we are able to adjust that you can see here that it is quite large but one, once it pops up here we will be able to adjust that by clicking on it and shrinking it down so we're just waiting for that to pop up now so it really is easy to use these kind of documents uh, with PowerPoint um, and all the different clip art that we can add to it it's really, really exciting that we can, you as teachers, spend the time to create those specialised documents. Uh, and then once they um, are created, we can actually modify them uh, for years down the track. So saving ourselves some time, because as educators, there's seriously endless amounts of things to be done as a teacher. So you can see there that I've just edited that uh, part because I'm happy with the rest of it. So let's go ahead and start one from scratch. And I'm hoping today that my computer is not going to be completely slow. So I'm going to do a new slide. I'm going to start that as a blank template. 
Uh, so what you can do, go ahead here, um, what I'm aiming to do here is basically create an observation. So we'll be dividing the page up. Um, my idea here was to create a document where we can add a photograph or a sample of the child's work in here. Here is where you can put your outcome or your national standard or whatever information you would like to put here. Generally, it's outcome. If you want to label this as an observation work, sample or learning story, you can use this. I've done this creating... Um, a text box and also creating using that function of the word art so you can do that and I put that there I was actually going to I was thinking cutting out a picture of the child's face or I can use a text box to create her name but we can have a little look at that in a minute and down here this is going to be a section for actually my notes so just my reflection upon the child um, and the observations I'd made that day so let's go ahead and start one from scratch so what we're going to do is I've just showed you how to apply one of these. Um, let's go ahead and add a different colour. You might want to do a flower. Um, let me drag and drop that over into the corner and you'll see that that pops up. The other thing I might do is we might add a border this time. Let's have a little look down here and see if we can find uh, a banner. So this is... Uh, some certificates. So this is Bev's Learning Hut. So she's got different types of certificates uh, in here. Let's have a look with coloured background. Let's have a look in this one. So there's some great borders. So let's just remove that for a second and set up our border to start. So let's do a fairly neutral coloured one. Let's try this one. So I'm going to drag and drop that. Um, this is actually going a long ways. Actually, let me change. I'm going to do this and leave it in the middle. So I'm going to actually make that the work sample. So this is going to be the area that I'm choosing. We can modify that just by closing that in a little bit if we wanted to. It's actually I'm pretty actually ha pretty happy with with that by going to edge to edge. Um, this would probably be really good also if I bring up the landscape version. If we drag and drop that over here, that would probably fit that really really well. Yeah, so you can see that. So we can just modify that and drop that down. So that's great. Let's leave that there for a moment, but you can see how easy it is just to drag and drop and have that set up. Uh, let's go back to our document here. I'm going to go ahead and add one of my jitter core, my labels here. So let's go ahead with an orange square. That might line up quite well. So I'm just going to modify that, shrink it down, and that's where I'd like to actually put the child, the child's image there. Okay, actually I might drag that up and I'm going to also drag that up. Okay, so in here, let's go ahead, I'm actually going to add the text box frames. So there's lots of different types that Rebecca has. Um, there's some other artists that have them as well online. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set it up like this one. I'm going to drag and drop that and then I'm going to modify it to the size that I want. And all I do is I widen it this way. And I'll widen it that way. Now what I would like to do is I want to actually type in there. So I'm going to go up to insert and then I'm going to go to text box. You can't see that at the moment uh, because it's outside the parameters of the video. But if it's under insert and you'll see the word text box. And this has popped up here. So what I need to do is I click and I'm dragging and drop, opening that up Sorry, by holding my mouse down. And you can hear that I'll release that. And what I can do is start typing in here. So if I want to list the outcome. I can insert it here, if I spell the word insert properly, <laughs> so insert here. So once you adjust all that, I might actually adjust that and make it smaller, which you can here, nice and small so I can modify some in. So if you want to have each of your outcomes um, set up individually, you can do that. As you can see, you can probably see that I did that for this one. So I set up each of the outcomes to be individual and then you can insert your text box for those or you can have one here. Again, you can also leave this blank so you can hand write these in if you choose to. There is a lot of flexibility that you can do and use. So we might just widen that text box a little bit more and put all our outcomes in there. You might want to drop this down a little bit and also allow enough room. Now we just need to modify and move our text box because they're two different types. And in here you might want to put the student's name. So what we can do is using some word art. That's quite clever. So you might want to insert the child's name. Okay. And that can go nicely up the top there. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to shrink that so it fits. So go back to home. We'll drop that down to a 32. And we can modify what that looks like. 
If I double click on that, it's not going to like me. There we go. So we're going up here just to modify what it looks like um, by selecting different ones here. So I'm a big fan of this one. Okay, and you can pick a color combination too if you like. Okay, let's use a sample name. Okay, and you can insert that there. If you want to add date, um, time, all different things that you can put there, the teacher's name, you can actually do that. So in here, that's going to be where I'm going to put my image or a copy of my paperwork. Actually, down here is where I'm going to put my observation. So I'm going to go back and select another text box. And I'm going to drag and drop that down. Again, if you're not uh, wanting any of these types of designs, there are a lot available on the website and you can actually go ahead and see the different samples online prior to buying. So I'm going to drag and drop that as wide as I can. And I'm going to pull down that there. And now I'm going to insert my text box, which I go to insert and click on text box. I'm going to drag and drop that because I want it to be that width. You can adjust it using these uh, parameters here anytime you need. So I'm going to put here observations. Okay. And you can insert them via text. So if you're really clever with your IT or you're happy to do everything using a type, you can do that. Or leave blank. Blank for handwriting. Okay, so again, you can make this as editable as as you want. So if you're happy with that and you like some of the setups, again, all you do is you right click and you can duplicate the slide and then you can modify them as you go. Okay, so they can be different for each outcome or uh, the quality center that you're looking to report on and same with the growth with the developments. Let's have a little look at the one I've done over here. So this is a learning story. So the same thing I was thinking here that we can put a sample um, or an image of the child that is uh, focused on a certain specific area. We can list our outcomes here and then again put our observations down there. So over here we already actually had started to do our border. So that's where I had dragged and dropped uh, the items on there. And again we can use a pretty border if we wanted to board, to board this up. So here's our little text box frames. If we want to do a circle of the child, sorry, use a circle and then we can put a photo of the child in there, we can do that. Um, let's just shrink and modify that down a little bit. Okay, you can put the student's name in there, you can put a photo, you can do whatever you like. Um, we can use up here, when we go to insert and go to word art, again you can't see it but the, the function's right there. And we can put here learning story okay and we can modify that again so what I'm doing is just double clicking that and we go up here and I'm going to select the different ones going back to home to shrink that down a little bit because it's quite large okay what I might do is actually swap this around so it's really easy all I'm doing is dragging and dropping dragging and dropping okay so to modify that, I actually actually uh, might enclose that. So if we have a little look up here, where's our fill? Here somewhere. I'll come back. I'll show you another one. So what we might do is, if I go up here and let's insert another text box, you'll see that it pops up. Okay. So we're going to change it to that and we're going to go learning story. Okay, if you have a little look here, we have the option to fill that up. So I really like that background. So what I might do is delete that one. So I'm just selecting it and deleting it with the four squares. And I like the size of this one now. So I'm going to drag and drop that up there. Okay, actually, no, I'm just going to shrink it a little bit because I know I want to put my observations in. So let's make that about 36. Great. Oops, I've moved the border. Okay, let's leave that. So selecting that, when you've got your four squares, that's when you know the object that you'll be moving. Let's go ahead and put our boxes in here for the learnings, for the outcomes. I uh, really like this one, I think, from last time. Yep, that looks great. So what I need to do now is just modify that. Let me see what this one is as well. Excellent. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these similar. So I'm going to make it a little bit more formal um, and open that up. Like that. So now I'm going to insert my text box. Just highlight that in there. Dragging and dropping. And I'm going to have my outcomes. You can put ever title you like. If you wanted to put um, anything to do with the development of the child, you can put whatever you like. In this one, I'm actually going to make my observations. I'm going to make it a little bit different, Dylan, just to show you how flexible you can be. Okay. 
I'm going to make it drop down this way. Let's shrink that a little bit. And this is the area I'm going to actually leave open. So let me put my text box, drag it and drop there. Observations. Now you don't need to use text box, you can use the word art if you want to make this a little bit um, brighter. You can also use clip art. There's lots of different functions with the fonts that you can do. Let's go back in here and let's find a funky little box. Excellent. And let's widen that. So that's where I'm going to put the work sample, okay? And I know that because I've designed it. Um, so that looks great. So again, what you need to do is if you want to modify it, uh, but you're happy with most of the layout, you can just duplicate that. You don't have to reinvent the wheel, okay? And so you can go ahead and just modify the colors, the background, whatever you like without affecting the one you've done before it. Now once we've all completed the different documents that you've made, we recommend that you create a file on your desktop. And you can see here that I've got different files for different year levels. Um, and you can file them in year. I advise you to file them under the year and then basically under the outcome or maybe the age group um, or whatever your different style is. You can do that. And once you click open, you'll be able to see um, I keep an editable, uh, editable sorry, PowerPoint copy and I keep a final copy. So when you're printing them out, you need to print it out of, of the PDF file. Um, and also having it editable, keeping it editable will allow you to jump back in and modify it when you need down the track. So next year when you're doing your different outcomes, maybe you've got a variety of different learning stories that you're going to be covering or you've got different outcomes, um, especially with the different children, that's how you can go back and save yourself hours of time to modify. So once you do click, all you need to do is make sure you save it. Uh, and when you go to save as, it'll pop up. Like I said, keeping it as a PowerPoint will make sure that this is editable and you can save it up here. So you might have learning story. Okay, and save that as you go. If not, save it as a PDF and that will help you. You'll be able to print it out and that won't be modified. Um, as an educator, it's a great way to have PDFs if you want to pass them around to your learning centers because then they can't modify the document. If you want to create a bit more of a uniform uh, uniformality across the, um, your center. So you can do these yourselves um, however you please. So that's how easy it is. I hope that workshop was really helpful. Um, please leave some feedback and uh, we look forward to seeing you again with our different workshops. Cheers.